today's tutorial, we're going to look at a very common starting position in IPSC or USPSA where the gun is rested on the table, either loaded or unloaded. And the key over here is to get a good grip on the gun, a clean load if need be, and shoot the targets from either a seated or standing position. And we'll look at some of those considerations. So here's a couple of tips when it comes to retrieving the gun off a tabletop. Let's assume for starters that the gun is in a loaded position, so we would have a seated magazine in the gun and around in the chamber. Obviously the safety would be engaged. The key in a situation like this is to get a good clean grip on the gun. And the biggest mistake, or the biggest, the most common problem is that it's difficult to get your right hand to grip around the whole panel of the gun when the gun is lying flat on the table. One of the things you can do in open class is assemble a really large slide racker on the side of the gun like I've done here. And this will help to prop the gun off the table, allowing me to get a, basically a complete grip on the gun before I lift it off the table. When a large slide racker is not an option, like with a standard gun, and you'll have the restriction and the gun will have to lay further flat on the table, the key here is to use both hands. Allow your left hand or your support hand to get under the sights or under the slide of the gun as you bring your right hand onto the grip. So in effect, you're lifting the gun into your hand rather than trying to pinch your fingers all the way around the grip, which is very difficult to do when the gun is lying flat. Use both hands to get on the gun. Your left hand goes below the slide, lifts the gun into your strong hand, and then you present the gun up to the target. Another important thing to pay attention to as you practice these, uh, these pickup uh, stages is to make sure that when you press down on the side of the gun, you're not applying pressure directly to the mag catch because this could lead to the magazine falling out of your gun as you lift it off the table. So test that with your guns to make sure the mag catch is not being pressed. In many cases, when the gun is going to start laying on the table, it's going to be unloaded with the magazine laying on the table alongside the gun. Here's a tip to consider. Many shooters tend to place the magazine and the gun side by side. Obviously, you're going to place the magazines with the bullets facing upwards so that you get a more natural grip on the magazine, very much the same way it would come out of the magazine pouch. So you want to have the magazine pointed upwards, but laying the magazine and the gun side by side is wrong. Because what's going to happen here is as you grip the gun and the magazine and turn the gun upside down, your magazine is not lining up with the magwell. It's way too far forward. You'll get a much more consistent and fast load if you place the magazine behind the gun so that as you lift the gun and turn it, you're in the right position to insert the magazine and rack the first round in. Another important thing to consider is should you shoot seated or should you stand up and shoot in the standing position? Well, you'll often see shooters do both ways. You'll see on a squad, some shooters shoot seated and others will stand to shoot. Here's a couple of things to bear in mind, even though there is no definite right or wrong way to do this. First thing to consider is that the time it's going to take you to get your hands on the gun and lift the sight picture to the target, you could very well be standing up during that half second or second it takes to do that. So in reality, most likely you'll not be losing a lot of time on your first shot. There is another distinct advantage to shooting in the standing position versus seated is that most of your practice you do standing. So your shooting works more naturally and your transition between targets will flow better when you're standing and not seated on a chair. For most cases, I would say that standing would be the way to go with the exception of perhaps targets which are very narrowly placed together and there's not a lot of swing from side to side, in which case seating could be an option. If you do shoot seated, make sure that your upper body is very much in the same position and the same stance as it would be if you were shooting in the standing position. You want to make sure that you, if possible, shift your feet position, lean forward in behind the gun, get your chest and your upper body in your shooting stance so that in this position you maximize your recoil control as you fire the gun seated. So if you are going to remain seated to shoot these shots, make sure that you use your body as much as possible to get behind the gun and control the recoil. The feet are often restricted in that you have to start touching the chair or in a particular position, but as you begin to shoot, you can shift your feet to get a better support platform, enabling you to lean in behind the gun. Let's give this a shot. We'll try to shoot these targets first in the seated position. Here it goes. Going to use both hands to get on the gun, even though the large slide racker does make this approach a lot easier. Here we go. Note that as I picked up the gun, picked up the gun, I shifted my body position and my feet to get a more solid support 
and stay behind the gun. And now we'll compare the second option of standing up while picking the gun. I'm not going to stand all the way up. I'm going to stay in a low crouch, but I'll get my backside off the chair. That'll give me better motion and better flexibility across the targets. Here we go. It'll feel more natural to me like this, and I'll be able to control my transitions a little bit better. So when faced with this situation, either seated or standing, make sure you shift your position to maximize your recoil control. I'm Saul Kirsch of Double Alpha Academy, wishing you all excellent shooting.